Hi. I'm here to read to you some of the newest trippy prose ever put down by any cool cat. This guy's name is Sean Penn, and his words are like spoiled butter running rancidly down a very piping hot pan in which you will put rotten eggs to sizzle and pop. Here is the perfect prose. Let it slide into your souls and slide right the heck on out. Bob's boyhood essence set him up for a separation from time, synergy, and social mores, leading him to acts of indelicacy, wounding words, and woeful whimsy that he himself would come to dread. Silly questions of cherries saved served to sever any last impression Bob might have had of Spurley as a serious citizen. There is pride to be had where the prejudicial is practiced with precision in the trenchant triage of tactile terminations. Yes, this is a candy cane I'm sucking on. His dreams, desert, daylight, diffusion dictated disturbances in the void of visual detail. That's the most perfect, smooth, butter-like prose I ever did hear. If that butter came from a dying yak and was used to cook rotten eggs that were laid by a chicken who was also the child of a salmon for a father and a dead, hairy cow from the highlands of Scotland. The best prose ever. Cool cat, baby. Cool cat.